Okay, so first things first, I wanted to start with a warm transition color, so I'm taking these two shades from the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm blending that into my crease with my Kiko Milano blending brush. I really wish that these colors had names or numbers, that way it would be easier to explain, but I'm just gonna roll with it. With my small detail brush by Morphe and a little bit of double tap from the Stardust palette, I'm going to start packing this color and extending it out because I'm going for a cut crease look today. This is my favorite brush for when I'm doing a cut crease because it allows me to draw a precise line exactly how I want it. Now I'm taking a 219 pencil brush by MAC with a mixture of Double Tap and Millennial and I'm going to start softening up that line because right now it's looking a little too harsh for my liking. For a more intense color payoff, I'm wetting my brush with a little Fix Plus and I'm mixing these two pearl shimmery shadows for my lid color. I'm applying them with a Morphe small shadow brush and I'm being really cautious with this because I don't want it to pass the crease so I'm just focusing it on my lid. With these two bone colored shadows, I'm applying some on my brow bone and inner corners just to even everything out. This look requires a lot of blending, so I'm mixing these two shadows, and with my MAC 224 blending brush, I'm softly going to start blending my brow bone and crease color together. I really like using gel liners because I feel like they're a little more forgiving if you make any mistakes. So today I'm using Inglot's gel liner in black and I'm not going to make it too thick or dramatic because I'm already doing a lot with the cut crease.
Now I'm taking this Lancome eyelash primer and mascara and I'm applying that to my lashes. I really wanted to apply falsies but I couldn't find my eyelash glue so I just had to roll with the punches. To prime my face, I use Maybelline's Master Prime Primer which I love because it really illuminates the skin and makes it look nice and healthy and glowy. Plus it smells good so I love it. It's been a while since I've used a foundation in stick form and this was my first time trying the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation which was just a little bit too light for me even though I was color matched but that's only because it has about 6 color options but I did love the formula and it does have a nice medium to full coverage which is always great. To blend that into my skin I'm using my Kiko Milano Face 107 brush which I love as well. You don't have to set this foundation if you don't want to, but this is a step that I always do because I feel like it makes it last longer throughout the day. So I'm using my Chanel Translucent No. 3 powder and with a Morphe blush brush, I'm just patting that lightly into my skin. Next, to conceal my under eyes, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. This is definitely one of my top 5 favorite high-end concealers. I just love the coverage that it provides. And of course I'm using my beauty blender to blend it all out. Whoever created this is a genius. I'm going to be taking the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm going to be doing the baking method today. This is going to avoid my concealer from creasing throughout the day and it's also going to give me a nice airbrush looking finish. I love doing this. So I'm taking my beauty blender and dipping it into my powder and I'm just applying this to all the places where I apply concealer and letting it sit for a couple minutes. This part is pretty self-explanatory, I'm just taking a little blush brush and I'm sweeping off that excess powder off my face.
I'm taking the middle contour color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm bronzing up my face. This is really going to bring a lot of warmth and definition to this look and it's going to pull everything together. Now with this big powder brush by Morphe, I'm just going to be blending out that bronzer a little bit more just to make it a little more natural looking. I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm dipping it back into that banana powder and I'm going to sharpen up my contour with this. This is really going to clean it up and it's also going to make my cheekbones pop just a little bit more. And of course, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Next I'm taking the cooler contour color out of the three and I'm just going to be contouring my nose ever so slightly with this. Once again I'm taking my pencil brush and I'm going back into the Stardust palette and I'm mixing Millennial with Double Tap then I'm going to be smoking out my lower lash line. Of course I'm taking my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner and I'm tight lining my eyes. This is really the last step to any eye look. This pulls it all together and it makes the eyelashes appear a lot longer. I'm also applying this to my waterline as well. Of course I can't forget to add mascara to my lower lashes so I'm doing the same thing that I did with the top ones and I'm applying the Lancome primer first and then I'm going in with the Lancome mascara. I thought that a silver highlight would really complement this look so I'm using my favorite one by MAC which is called Soft and Gentle. I'm applying a little bit of this to the inner corners of my eyelids and also to my brow bone and of course I'm adding it to the high points of my face. Next I'm taking one of my favorite brow gels which is by L'Oreal and I'm setting my eyebrows so that they won't budge at all throughout the day. Finally I'm applying my lipstick which is called Eugenie from the MAC Gian Batista collection. This was a limited edition lipstick but if you weren't able to get your hands on it, no worries because it's extremely similar to Revel which is also by MAC. Lastly I'm setting the entire look with some Fix Plus spray and that's it. This look is done. I hope you dolls enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Good evening guys and happy birthday to me! It's my birthday, I'm so happy. And right now we're on our way to an undisclosed location. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but stay tuned. So we got mini colada, virgins of course. Appetizer, pica de Puerto Rico. And the beautiful Kimmy doll. I love you more, baby. And happy birthday. I'm I taste. Some good Puerto Rican food right now.
Yum, churrasco. Oh, this looks so good. Can't wait to eat a little bit of this. We got the pique de Puerto Rico. <laughs> and of course, my baby ordered the same thing because that's what we do.